So Serie has completely changed the game. It has tightened the rules. It has gone very strong on regulations and that can impact the market in the longer run. Nifty has fallen by at least 1000, 1500 points in the last 10 days. So is it a good time to create an investment opportunity or should we go long trade it by going long in the market? Let's discuss about the prospects, the long term outlook of Nifty and bad Nifty in this short video. So if you like this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification button so that you can get regular updates whenever I post a new video. So in the last few weeks, Nifty has gone from 24,000 to 26,000. This was the whole rally. It was covered in a very short period of time and now it has come to the levels of 25,000. So this is a 50% area. You can see here a bull trend going on. The 50% zone is where you can find some sort of buying. A lot of buyers get excited at the 50% area. So the 50% between 24 to 26, around 25,000. And there you can see a lot of consolidation, a lot of buying happening, which is coinciding with the short term support. As you can see, the market is getting a lot of buying at this zone. This is a very crucial zone and the market is finding some sort of support at this particular area. But there are a few things you need to keep in mind before trading this market. But there are a few things you need to keep in mind. Are you looking for investment opportunity or looking to trade the market because if you're looking for a short term bounce in Nifty, that might be a little difficult right now because as you can see here, as the market moves, the market creates lower lows, lower highs in a bear trend. You can see here the market is creating a new low and on Friday, a new low was created. And right now, the highs have not been yet broken in Nifty. So right now, if you're looking to create a long opportunity and you're looking to trade it for a swing, just wait before I think market might create a new low before we can bounce even further. For the market to completely shift to the bull trend, it needs to break the levels of 25200. The market needs to close about 25200 to convert into a bull trend. A lot of traders looking at this level for confirmation before creating new long positions because a very crucial thing happened is that on Friday, a new low was created. And that is usually a very risky thing. And at the same time, if you're looking for an investment opportunity, this is a good time to create investments or SIPs in Nifty because even if the market comes down, I think the market might bounce at this level. The market might come at 24,000 and just bounce from these levels because in the longer term outlook in the next three or four months or six months, the market might create a new high in the coming few days. The market is overall bullish if you look at weekly outlook. If we go on the weekly chart, the market bounced because the market found a lot of buyers at the 20 moving average. You can see here 20 moving average is a very crucial zone where a lot of people are interested on the weekly charts. The market found support at the 20 EMA in Nifty and whenever it's testing the 20 moving average, it's getting a lot of buying. You can see at this point of time, reverse sharply, this point of time reverse sharply. And at this point of time also, I think it might reverse sharply. This is one of the possibilities in Nifty. But at the same time, the market might also consolidate a bit before moving further. So if you are creating a long opportunity, you are looking for investment opportunities, it's a good buy at the current market price 24800 If the price comes down even further, you can add on to your uh, positions expecting a bounce and testing the new highs of 26200 or maybe going above that. Because as you can see here, the market is not looking to come down. The market is relentlessly in a bull trend, a relentless bull trend, and it's not going to convert into a bear trend right away. It needs to create a double top. It needs to create an, uh, a head and shoulders top. The market might move like this before coming down, or this is one of the other possibilities, the market creating a double top before reversing into a bear trend. So that is how prices move on charts. So this is a good price for the investors or people at a longer term outlook for people looking for a swing opportunity, a long opportunity. It's not a good time to get long. The market might also second push down towards the level of 24,000 before proceeding up further. Because if you look at the heavyweights, heavyweights like Reliance, HDFC, Bank, they're all not looking good on the chart. You can see here the breakdown from the support level of 2800. And the market is looking weak in Reliance. Reliance needs to go up for Nifty to get stronger. All right, Nifty is looking stronger in the longer term, but in shorter term, we can see a fall of three to 400 points more. So Reliance is expected to test the levels of 2500 in the coming few weeks. And then you can expect some sort of bounce because the move down has been really, really sharp. Let's look at Bank Nifty. Talking about Bank Nifty, you can see on the weekly charts, good buying happened. The whole week was very negative and on the last day, we could see a lot of buying happening in Bank Nifty. As I've already told you on the daily charts, it has formed a double bottom. You can see a big bullish engulfing bar. You can see the last bar that happened on Friday covered a range of a thousand points. It completely overshadowed the previous three sessions. So if you're looking for a swing opportunity, Bank Nifty can give you a swing opportunity. You just have to go along above the high of this bar with the stop loss is going to be really, really far. I think a thousand point stop loss 
in Bank Nifty. But that's how it's looking on the charts. The market is looking to form a double bottom, a higher double bottom. If the double bottom uh, gets triggered, the long gets triggered, you can expect Bank Nifty to come and test the levels of 54,000. When talking about Bank Nifty for investment purpose and for a trading purpose, it looks good in both the cases. And for trading purposes, you have to keep a stop loss, I think, 1,000 points away. That is the drawback of investing or trading Bank Nifty right now because the average true range is very, very high. But a very convincing bar on uh, the daily time frame, a huge bullish engulfing bar. The market goes up and comes down. Then the market might come down and form a pattern of bottoming pattern once again and then look to go up. So that's how you can approach Bank Nifty. For investment purposes, both Bank Nifty and Nifty are good prices to invest right now. And if the market falls further, you can invest even more because the overall outlook of Nifty Bank Nifty is both bullish for the coming few weeks or months. Not for the coming few days, but in the coming few days, you can expect some sort of pullback or consolidation near the support zone. And a good price for investors to create profitable opportunities because the market is giving you a very fair price to earn a profit. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. And if you found this video helpful and valuable, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. I'm signing off.